turned to the post office and was forgotten. In all the secrecy, Colossus never received recognition as the world's first programmable computer. Instead, that honor was to go to the American ENIAC. As for the code breakers, they all dispersed, some back to universities and others into the fledgling computer industry. A few stayed on in the British Secret Service, while some of the Americans returned to Arlington Hall. The most innovative thinker of all, the man whose inventiveness had been at the center of Bletchley Park's success, died tragically. In 1954, Alan Turing took his own life after being persecuted as a security risk because he was gay. Alan Turing is one of the figures of the century. The world of computing and now the world of the internet stems from Alan Turing's fundamental ideas. There were other great men in uh, Bletchley Park, but in the long, long hall of history, I think Turing's name will probably be the number one in terms of consequence for mankind. Apart from the atom bomb, there was no greater secret in World War II than the work of the codebreakers of Bletchley Park. Their breakthroughs gave the Allies a vital edge in the U-boat war, the tank battles against Rommel, and the D-Day invasion. But their impact was felt far beyond the battlefield. Eavesdropping and decryption won a new prominence in the minds of politicians as well as generals. The transatlantic alliance that took its first hesitant steps at Bletchley Park would mature and prove critical during the Cold War. And the roots of today's computer era trace back directly to the dazzling inventiveness of Turing, Flowers, and their wartime colleagues. In the end, though, Bletchley Park's greatest achievement lay not in broken ciphers, but in the hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions, of lives it saved. Historians generally agree that it shortened the war by two years. Bletchley Park didn't win the war, that was won by people with guns and bullets and things out in the field. But I think Bletchley Park is a great exemplar, particularly to the younger generation now, of brains over bullets. You can defeat an enemy intellectually. And that was shown here.